Hey guys, I'm back. I uh, wanted to come make another video of um, just a flip through on this journal that I finished a few days ago. It's one of the ones with the crackle finish um, that I made out of the Reader's Digest books. Um, and it's um, basically just the, the front and back cover and then I basically recreated a spine using um, canvas. So, and there's three signatures in here just stitched in with some twine. Um, so, and on the front I've got like a, you know, a tag that I made out of just a piece of really heavy duty um, watercolor paper that was coffee dyed and then distressed and stuff. I think there's some gesso on it too. Um, with a big butterfly and some buttons and stuff like that. So, um, and then these two metal pieces are off of an old shelf that I had. I took them off to repaint the shelf and then I just never put them back on. So <laughs> I've kind of had these floating around my life for the last few years and I thought they looked kind of cool on there. So anyway, so this book is kind of heavy, um, especially the front cover. It's real heavy because of that metal. So, and then it's just, um, the closure is just a double strand of um, like navy blue seam binding on the front and back. So, um, you know, this they're, most of my journals are kind of similar. They, they have a similar feeling, similar um, content and that kind of thing. But, you know, I happen to have a lot of this kind of stuff so now and this is what I like and this so this is what I do but um anyway not, I mean yeah it is what it is so a couple little tags in here this is one of my little clusters uh, made into like a tuck spot and some coffee dyed book paper and a little tag there's a piece of real heavy um like lace, like crochet lace trim on the, um, behind that pocket. And then just a few little random bits, um, little pieces here, some book paper, um, little edge of a piece of paper that I put through a, a punch, a little card journaling card and a paper clip and a tag with uh, this is a index card that I coffee dyed and then did some stamping on it this is going to be a relatively quick flip through as well it's a little guest check um, half of a flyleaf from a reader's digest This is some kind of pattern. I think it's for a stuffed animal. So, tally card. You know, just some little bits and a paper clip. Another pocket. This is coffee dyed. Just a couple of cards, just plain card and a little flash card. Just a little journaling card in there. Lots of space for journaling in here. Um, I do like to, to try to make most of my journals somewhat uh, journaler friendly, you know. And this is just kind of a weird little uh, tuck spot here, but I like it. Tag. 
queen card in this pocket or this envelope. Coffee dyed guest check. A little flat or a little large tuck spot there. This is another piece of the menu from the ship that my mom took to Germany. And there's a little um, garment pin here with one of one of the little tiles that I made out of a um, Scrabble tile. Um, and on there it says Courage. And then there's just a little number 13. Um, anyway, <laughs> I made a whole bunch of like art tiles um, over the summer. Got pretty addicted to making art tiles. I'm out of there. So this is like the back of one of those um, Tim Holtz like lost relatives cards, you know. But I love the pattern on there, so I just stuck that in there. Little seam binding um, packaging. And just a couple little cards. Book paper. A little journaling card there. A playing card, a flash card. And another piece of Tim Holtz paper with an altered paper clip here. Picked up a box of the shipping tags from um, Office Depot. You know what, you guys? Uh, much cheaper than um, Staples. Just saying, by like six dollars for I think it was, yeah, 500 of them. Like, and there was only like 14 dollars, um, as opposed to like 21 at uh, Staples. So, bingo card game, flash card, another tag made out of that organizer. And this is actually um, an envelope. I'm not going to open it because it's, it's I won't be able to close it again. But anyways, this is a little envelope. There isn't anything in it. And there's a tag in there.
See, lots of journaling space in here. A little mini file folder. piece of paper folded to look like an envelope. A little journaling card. And just a cluster on there that says amazing. Tiny card, Monopoly money, a little uh, index card, and some decoupage book paper. And this other playing card. This is a cool little card set. I like it. They're like little clowns and stuff. And then there's a tag right there. So, okay, so that's this one. And um, I am going to try to get this one as well as the, the other two uh, file folder journals listed in my Etsy shop within the next few days. So um, if you visit there and you don't see them, um, don't worry, they'll be there soon. Or you could send me a message or whatever and just say, hey, you know, I saw the video of the, the journals on YouTube and where are they at? So <laughs> anyway, um, okay, so here's that journal. Um, I'm going to um, probably film yet another video because I want to talk to you guys about some tags that I made today. So, um, but thank you for watching. Hope you liked it. Let me know what you think and, uh, like, subscribe, share, um, thumbs up, all that good stuff. I appreciate it. Um, and I love you. Bye.